everybody from the Astrodome in Houston. Welcome to Phillies baseball. League Championship Series Game 5. It can't go anymore. Phillies and the Houston Astros at two games apiece. Harry Callis along with Rich Ashburn. Tim McCarver and Andy Musser will be here a little later. And all the marbles on this one, Rich, and I have never been involved, and you have, being in a World Series, but I've never been involved in a game like this in all my years of broadcasting. I tell you, Harry, it's been quite a season for both ball clubs. WPHL-TV, Channel 17, Philadelphia, your world champion Philly station. <laughs> This portion is brought to you in part by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. By your local Toyota dealer, where now's the time to cook up a deal. By Geno's, you'll go for the food. By Gerard, the bank that offers the multipliers. Investment alternatives for all savers. By Ford, for the best deal in town, see your local Ford dealer. By Pep Boys, Pep Boys is bigger and better than ever. By United, official airline of the Phillies. By New Getty, let it regular. At Getty, we want you to get the most out of your car. And by the Pennsylvania Lottery. Hi, everybody from Veterans Stadium. Welcome to Phillies Baseball tonight. The Phils and the Atlanta Braves. I'm Harry Callis along with Rich Ashburn, Tim McCarver, and Andy Musser will be along a little later. All kinds of excitement here last night. The Phillies winning a thrilling game in 13 innings, 7 to 5. Tonight, it'll be interesting to see young Mark Davis going against Phil Necro. Davis is actually young enough to be Phil's son. Phil had two years of pro ball under his belt when Mark was born. I think that's really a credit to both of them. One uh, that he's uh, so good he can stay around at his age and one that's so good that he's here at his age. The following is an exclusive presentation of Prism Sports. Prism Sports presents Philadelphia Phillies Baseball. Tonight, the Phillies meet the San Francisco Giants. Welcome once more to Phillies Warm Up. I'm Jim Barniak along with Phillies hopefully all-star second baseman Manny Trio. Thank you very much, Jim Barniak, and hi again, everybody. Welcome to Prison Baseball. Chris Wheeler along with Tim McCarver. Tonight, the Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. The Giants, a hot club, have won six out of eight. Phillies have won 11 out of 14. And uh, last night, the Phillies ran into a pretty hot pitcher in Bill Lasky, but lately, Timmy, the Phillies have been playing very good baseball. They really have, and last night's game was so unusual because the Phillies stranded 11 runners in their first six innings. Good evening, everyone, from Bush Memorial Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight, 38-year-old Steve Carlton will attempt to become the 16th pitcher in baseball history to win 300 or more games. 394 and leads the Expos with nine RBI. Terry Francona replacing Al Oliver at first, hitting 345 and has strengthened the defense. Charlie Lee takes a one-and-one -one record to the mound for the Expos this afternoon against veteran left-hander Jerry Kuzman of the Phillies, who is one-and-0. For all you do, this bug's for you. Tonight, live from Veteran Stadium, the Phillies and the New York Mets. And the New York Mets in the second game of a four game series. Prism Sports presents the 1986 Philadelphia Phillies. Brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers. For all you do, this buzz for you. Tonight, live from Veterans Stadium, it's the Phillies and the New York Mets. from Veteran Stadium. Bruce Ruffin will pitch for the Phillies tonight and he will go against Dwight Good. Hi everyone, I'm Andy Musser along with Chris Wheeler and there's definitely some excitement in the air here at Veteran Stadium this evening. We've known for a long time of course that the New York Mets were going to win the NL East this year. There's no stopping them now but the Phillies wouldn't mind slowing them down a little bit, you think? 
Yeah, they'd like him to take that champagne right to St. Louis with him, and that's what it would take for a three-game sweep. But last night's storm has moved entirely out of the area, and the only thing we hope for this afternoon is that Mike Schmidt creates a storm of his own. I will. Oh, that would be great, Andy, to have it right here on Prism to see Mike Schmidt's 500th home run, and he's pumped up about, I think, the whole ball club is. Welcome to Phillies 88. From Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles, California, it's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Today's game is brought to you by Budweiser, proud sponsor of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. This Bud's for you. By First Pennsylvania Bank. We hear you. By the Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. The one that works. And by the old connection. To urge you to see the all-new Cutlass Supreme. It begs to be driven. Hi, everybody from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Welcome to Phillies Baseball. This afternoon, the final game of the series, the Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It'll be David Palmer for the Phillies. Tim Belcher going for Los Angeles. Harry Callis with Rich Ashburn and Andy Musser. Nice, warm, sunny afternoon here at Dodger Stadium. And Whitey Lee Ely and the coaching staff have spent hour upon hour with extra batting. They're out here almost every day at 1 o'clock on the road. What can Lee do? Is there anything you can do about the team's offensive woes? The only thing Lee can do, uh, Harry, is what the players are doing, and that is uh, keep working hard and hang in there and hope for the best. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, it's time for baseball with the Phillies and the Expos at Veterans Stadium. <laughs> Today's game with the Phillies and the Expos is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch, brewers of fine quality beers to be enjoyed responsibly. Remember, know when to say when. By First Pennsylvania Bank, the bank that says, we hear you. By the Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages, no other book can match it. Bell of Pennsylvania, a Bell Atlantic company. By Dodge, feel the new spirit at your local Dodge dealer. And by Meineke, you're not going to pay a lot for quality at Meineke. Hi, everybody from Veterans Stadium. Welcome to Phillies Baseball. This afternoon, the final game of the series, final game of the season, the Phillies and the Montreal Expos. It'll be Pat Combs for the Phillies, Bryn Smith, the veteran right-hander for Montreal. Harry Callis with Rich Ashburn and Andy Musser on Fan Appreciation Day here. And uh, even though the Phillies are going to finish in last place in National League East Way, this season has breezed along, and a breath of fresh air in September has been Pat Combs. That's right, and uh, of course, I think it's kind of appropriate that he pitches this last day on Fan Appreciation Day. He's and the Cardinals at Bush Stadium. He hits it a ton. That ball is coming. That ball is a grand slam home run. Swing. Tonight's game with the Phillies and the Cardinals is brought to you by Budweiser. Each would age for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. By the Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. No other book can match it. Bell of Pennsylvania, a Bell Atlantic company. By First Pennsylvania Bank. We hear you. A core state's bank. By your Olds Connection dealers. Feel the quality and excitement of driving a new generation Oldsmobile. And by McDonald's. You know the one McDonald's for food, folks, and fun. From Bush Stadium in St. Louis, welcome to Phillies baseball. Tonight, the Phillies against the St. Louis Cardinals. Right-hander Jason Grimsley will pitch for the Phillies, and Bob Tewksbury will be the Cardinal pitcher. I'm Andy Musser, along with Richie Ashburn. Harry Callis has the night off. He'll rejoin us on Thursday. 
You know, Whitey, it's been a month and a half now since the Phillies have seen these St. Louis Cardinals, and this is a different looking ball club now. Well, I think, uh, you know, certainly a different manager with Joe Torrey, although we saw Joe when he came over. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's time for baseball with the Phillies and the Astros at Veterans Stadium. Line to deep left field. It's got a chance. Grand slam home run. That ball is stung, stung, stung out of here. Home run, Mike Schmidt. Today's game with the Phillies and the Astros is brought to you by Bush Beer. Head for the mountains of Bush. By the Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. No other book can match it. Bell of Pennsylvania, a Bell Atlantic company. By Ford. Bank on your quality plus Ford dealer for great savings during leadership month. And by Mobile. Drive your engine clean with Mobile Super Unleaded Plus. Hi, everybody from Veterans Stadium. Welcome to Phillies Baseball. This afternoon, the final game of the series, the Phils and the Houston Astros. Jose De Jesus going for the Phillies. Young Daryl Kyle for Houston. Harry Callis with Rich Ashburn and Andy Musser. An overcast day here at the vet, but we should get the ball game in. And Andy, looking at Jose De Jesus, he seems to be improving as the season goes on. Harry, there's never been any question about his good stuff. He's had that right from the outset. of brotherly love philadelphia at the vet the home of the phillies who take on one of baseball's most exciting and surprising teams the montreal expos Everybody from Joe Robbie Stadium in Miami. Welcome to Phillies baseball tonight, the first ever game between the Philadelphia Phillies and the expansion Florida Marlins. Harry Callis with Rich Ashford and Chris Wheeler. It'll be the knuckleballer Charlie Huff going for the Florida Marlins and for the Phils, Ben Rivera. Florida and expansion team wheels, and yet they've been very competitive. They're in almost every game. How come? Well, 22 out of the first 37 uh, games, Harry, they've only been, they've been in two run ball games, so they are very competitive. face a 1993 nemesis the Cubs look for their sixth win in a row it's coming up next hi again everybody I'm Larry Rosen welcome to Phillies baseball tonight exclusively on prism well hi everybody and welcome back to Veterans Stadium the Phillies and the Cubs game number three of this three game series are the four game series a left hander tonight First time the Phillies have seen a left-hander in a long time, Jay. The Phillies good against left-handed pitching? Well, maybe it's a good time because the Phillies have lost two in a row to the Cubs, but they play very well here in the vet against left-handers, 17-5. And, and, of course, John Cruck getting the night off. Sports Channel presents Phillies Baseball. Tonight, live from Riverfront Stadium in Cincinnati, the Phillies take on the Cincinnati Reds. Good evening, everyone. I'm Andy Musser, along with Kent DeColby. And finally, after 31 consecutive starts behind the plate, 
Darren Dalton is getting a night off, and he's not the only one. He's not the only one. John Crook also getting a night off, and two guys that don't get a whole lot of time in the starting lineup, Ricky Jordan and Todd Pratt getting the starts tonight. So Jim Fergosi getting them a couple at bats. And Everyone from Veterans Stadium, welcome to Phillies baseball. This afternoon, the Phillies wrap up this series and the season series with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Going for the Phillies, Fernando Valenzuela, Pedro Astacio for Los Angeles, Harry Callis along with Rich Ashburn and Andy Musser. It's another hot one here at Veterans Stadium. And Whitey, the Phillies have received some good efforts from their two rookies, Toby Borland and Mike Lieberthal. Lieberthal last night, his first big league homer. Yeah, he uh, he has home run power, but not all the time. of the title against the Colorado Rockies. Hi again, everybody. I'm Larry Rosen here on the field. Around me, the Leapfrogs, the U.S. Navy paratroopers, are delivering the first ball despite winds of about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Thank you very much, Larry. Great job down on the field. It is indeed my pleasure to be a part of Prism Telecast this summer with Chris Wheeler and our buddy Gary Maddox waiting in the wings. I'm really looking forward to it. Wheels, what an exciting time down on the field. John Crook capping off a ring ceremony that had all the electricity before that. I'll tell you, Todd, you know, I haven't seen every pitch of that season last year. You know, you lived it all winter and thought about it. Earlier tonight, Mitch Williams greeted former teammate Kim Batiste warmly on the field prior to the game, the first meeting of the year between the Phillies and the Houston Astros. Good evening, everyone. I'm Andy Muster along with Kent DeColvey awaiting the start of tonight's Phillies Astros game and wondering, of course, just how the crowd is going to react to Mitch Williams being back on hand for the first time since last year's World Series. Teek, I know it's exciting for him, but I'm sure he'd like to be doing better right now. Well, he would be, and uh, there haven't been a whole lot of happy moments. We saw one of those right there with Kim Batiste. Uh in the books as the Phillies crack through with a run in the bottom half of the 11th inning to win it 2 to 1. Probably a quicker turnaround than normal for game 2 since there's a 105 start to tomorrow's game and we are happy to bring you all the doubleheader action here on Prism. Welcome back up to the Prism Food. Todd Callis with Chris Wheeler and Gary Maddox who had a couple innings off. We'll be back for the fourth once again. Uh, Wheels, I guess uh, the Phillies acquired a new outfielder just recently, Mark Whitten, and just like Andy Van Slyke, a couple games in, he's got a little bit of an injury. Yeah, it appeared as if he pulled a hamstring uh, in that 11th inning on that ground ball to third, which set up the winning run getting to third base.
Sports Channel presents Philadelphia Phillies baseball. Tonight, live from Atlanta Fulton County Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, the Phillies in the second game of a three game series against the Atlanta Braves. We have a great night for a ball game here. There is the threat of rain. And as a matter of fact, we had a few drops here in the booth prior to the ball game. It didn't amount to much, and we're going to start on time. Hi, everyone. I'm Andy Musser along with Kent DeColvey. Braves haven't beaten the Phillies in their home park yet this year. Phillies have won five in a row here and we'll try to do so again tonight behind Bobby Munoz. Kent Merker is going to pitch the game for Atlanta and Teak that brings up an interesting point. Merker a good pitcher but he has never beaten the Phillies anywhere. No he has not beaten the Phillies whether whether it be as a starting pitcher or as a reliever. Good evening, everyone, from Turner Field in Atlanta. Welcome to Phillies baseball. Final game of the series, the Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Garrett Stevenson goes for the Phillies. Last year's Cy Young Award winner, John Smoltz for Atlanta. Harry Callis along with Rich Ashburn and Chris Wheeler. And Garrett Stevenson wheels is one of 20 pitchers the Phillies have used this year, so there's no question the way the club is going. A young guy does have a chance, certainly, this season for the Phillies. Well, th there's a lot of opportunity here, and there has been all year. Stadium it is opening night we're finally going to get started it's the Colorado Rockies against the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi everybody I'm Chris Wheeler with Kent Tocovey we're not going to dwell on this tonight Teak, but it's cold here tonight now as a former major league pitcher who has an advantage on this kind of night. Well anytime it's cool evening number one the pitchers have an advantage because the hitters are going to protect the inside part of the plate they're a little concerned about that ball in the hands that's the one that stings also cool nights the ball doesn't travel quite as well so I think it's definitely a pitcher's advantage on a cool night like tonight. beautiful Coors Field right here at the foothill of the Rockies in Denver Colorado this evening the Philadelphia Phillies and the Colorado Rockies good evening everybody a beautiful night for baseball I'm Chris Wheeler along with Kent Tacovey I think we talked in the pregame show about a, what a horror place this can be for pitchers what would it have been like to pitch here for you well, I'll tell you, Wills, uh, pitching in Coors Field is like pitching in Wrigley Field with the wind blowing out. I mean, it's very similar to that fact, and it scares a lot of pitchers. uniform which has largely defined the American pastime from Babe Ruth and the first world championship in 1921 to last year's Yankee Doodle Dandies the New York Yankees winners of 23 world championships and in the playoff hunt again this afternoon for the first time in the second half of the 20th century the New York Yankees have come to Philadelphia to take on the Yankees next Hi again, everybody, with Kent DeColvey. I'm Larry Rosen. Welcome to Phillies Baseball Teak. Yankees, world champions, huge crowd, Labor Day. It's got to make us have a great afternoon. Well, Larry, I'll tell you what, what a great way to put a cap on a beautiful Labor Day weekend here in Philadelphia. You got the Phillies, one of the hotter teams in baseball in the month of August against the defending champion, New York Yankees. Doesn't get any better than that. In fact, probably the only way you could make it better than that is to come up with a great pitching matchup, and indeed, we've even got that this afternoon. Play ball! 
Just a shade past the quarter pole, a brief time to reflect. We've seen moments of total domination and times of despair. We've seen the offense push itself to the limit and push just a bit too far. Most of all, we've seen the foundation of a team. Good evening, everyone, from Veterans Stadium. Welcome to Phillies Baseball. Tonight, game one of the series, the Phils and the St. Louis Cardinals. We have a nice, warm, clear night here at the Vet. Good to see you after being at home with so much rain before. Harry Callis along with Chris Wheeler. And just a little above past the one-quarter mark in the season wheels. And the one thing the Phillies have been is very competitive. They have been competitive, Harry, and it's been the young guys that have been doing it for them. Larry Anderson, our colleague, as a look at the first quarter of the season, L.A. Thanks, Harry and Wills. The consensus in the clubhouse here at the quarter pole is the Phillies are pretty much where they thought they would be. process starts with raw materials. You begin with the most solid of substances, ensuring granite-like strength at the foundation. Upon these building blocks, a structure begins to emerge. As each piece is added, the architecture becomes more complex, mixing cornerstones with accent pieces, all part of the delicate balance. Soon, the blueprint becomes clear, but only time will render a true verdict on the process. Victory on the baseball diamond is constructed in this fashion. Building from within, reinforcing from without. This method will again be tested in 1999 by the Phillies. From building blocks to pillars of strength. The grand opening is next. Good afternoon, everyone, from Turner Field in Atlanta. Welcome to... 1999 Phillies baseball, the opening of the 99 season, our first of 147 telecasts on the Phillies television network, 70 of them right here on UPN 57. Welcome to the baseball season 99, Harry Callis along with Chris Wheeler and Larry Anderson. Beautiful afternoon for baseball and the Phillies with two solid foundations upon which to build. One an everyday player, one a horse pitcher and the everyday player of course is that third baseman with us. Scott Rowland Harry is just a great player right now. I mean we wonder how good he's going to be. What his upside is going to be. Preseason 2000 ends in the Pacific Northwest as the Phillies meet the Mariners. Good afternoon, everyone, from Safeco Field in Seattle, Washington, a state that proudly claims Larry Anderson as a native son. Welcome to Philly Spring Training Baseball this afternoon, the Bills and the Seattle Mariners. Beautiful new Safeco Field. Harry Callis along with Larry Anderson and Chris Wheeler. Wheels a final exhibition game, and offensively, it's been a pretty good spring. Yeah, it is, Harry. You know, that everybody's kind of glad to get this exhibition season over with. You can't wait to play the games. to you by the letter B, where the bats have been totally ablaze. The bench continues to provide a needed bounce, and the bullpen has returned to the way it was before. They've turned an otherwise long and wet weekend into something beautiful. everyone from Veteran Stadium. Welcome to Phillies Baseball. Final game of the series of Phils and the Baltimore Orioles. The sun is out here at the vet today. And a happy Father's Day to all you dads watching. Harry Callis along with Chris Wheeler and Larry Anderson. And the Phillies, even though it was a long and rainy night last night, still offensively were awesome again, Wheels. They were, Harry. I mean, the, the last two games, you wonder, where did all this come from? half 
of the National League starting lineup will be on display at the vet today, and so will an equally deserving star who will miss the Midsummer Classic. When Bartolo Colon crossed over Leeds, his spot on an all-star roster was essentially crossed off. Good afternoon, everyone. From Veterans Stadium, welcome to Phillies baseball. Final game of the series, the Phils and the Montreal Expos. A hazy, smoky day this afternoon. They say the smoke is coming from forest fires in Canada. Harry Callis with Chris Wheeler and Larry Anderson. And L.A., the Expos from Canada have smoked the Phils. Three straight games and looking to make it a sweep. And they've got a great pitcher going in that Bartolo Cologne. Well, Harry, you know what? You talk about smoke. This guy throws a lot of smoke. For the entire season, they've been rock solid like the faces on Mount Rushmore. But in this past week, their expressions are starting to crack. What was confidence is now confusion. For the first time, the Phillies' starting pitching has begun to falter. From Veterans Stadium, welcome to Phillies Baseball. Game two of the series of Phils and the Milwaukee Brewers. Another warm one here at the vet tonight. Harry Callis with Larry Anderson, Chris Wheeler, and John Crock will be along a little later. And LA, there's no question the Phillies are 10 games over 500. One of the big reasons is because of the starting pitching, but of late, they have faltered. It's been a struggle for him lately. <laughs> Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Welcome to Phillies Baseball Home Opener 2004. The Phils and the Cincinnati Reds. Harry Callis along with Larry Anderson and Chris Wheeler. It's a rainy, chilly day, but nothing can dampen the spirits of the ball players, the fans, the military, and us. Here at beautiful new Citizens Bank Park, Philadelphia Boys Choir performing for us. We have impressive opening day ceremonies, which we will carry for you. And the Phillies are back home and look to get on the winning track here at Citizens Bank Park. Randy Wolf will be pitching for the Phillies and a sold-out house here at our new ballpark, Citizens Bank Park. And there's always an aura of excitement on opening day. And my colleagues are down in the field to take in the activities down in the field. Chris Wheeler and Larry Anderson. Gang, what's going on down there? Well, Harry, other than the rain, it's great down here. I mean, it, it is a little cold. It is a little miserable. And it is raining, but we're going to play baseball. The kind of neat, Andy, on this beautiful field, the way the players just walked in, the grass and dirt behind us, the kind of quirky features. And one thing you, can, you can't help but notice when we're down here is the energy coming out of the crowd. Oh, no question. I mean, people were packed in here early as soon as the gates were open. We went out to unveil the statues. At all the places, people were standing in line wait, just waiting to get in. It's, there's tons of excitement. It's a beautiful park. I thought it was neat the way the players came through the stands in the outfield and came all the way across the field. That was neat. Today is the Phillies' last home game until Labor Day, and they need to make it count. A victory would give them a series win and keep them on top of the wild card race. To get things started, they'll turn to a career minor leaguer, making his major league debut. everyone from Citizens Bank Park welcome to Phillies baseball final game of the series final game of the season series the Phils and the Pittsburgh Pirates gonna be a warm one here this afternoon Harry Callis with Chris Wheeler and Larry Anderson 
And a Uday Brito L.A. will be making his major league debut. He's probably chopping at the bit. He's been up for two weeks, and this will be his first trip to the mound. It's been a long time. Come on. Come on. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Phillies opening day 2006 on the field. The Phillies introduced before the game by host great PA announcer Dan Baker. We have the United States Falling Angels skydiving event team, and we also have the flyover by the 111th Fighter Wing of Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Opening day 2006, the Phillies and the St. Louis Cardinals. Hi, everybody. Harry Callis, along with Larry Anderson, Scott Graham, and Chris Wheeler will join us a little bit later. Always exciting L.A. opening day, and the Phillies have paired their final roster, and they're all set with the 25-man team. Well, they released Tomas Perez yesterday. There were not too many dry eyes in that clubhouse, as he was beloved by his teammates, a great guy on the club, and did a good job for the organization. June of 2002, the Phillies selected a left-handed pitcher from Rancho Bernardo High School with their first pick. He lived up to the billing in his first season, capturing the organization's top minor league award. Nearly four years after his selection, expectations have become reality. After dominating hitters at all minor league levels, he has proven to his superiors that he is ready. Poe Hamels takes his next step tonight. anticipated major league debut of Cole Hamels is here earlier this afternoon Cole arrived at Great American Ballpark for his first major league start in the Queen City it's game one of a series of Phils and the Cincinnati Reds and Harry Callis along with Larry Anderson Chris Wheeler will be with us later Scott Graham here and Cole Hamels at age 22, making his major league debut on a chilly and rainy evening. Hopefully, we get the game in. First round draft pick, 17th overall selection in the 2002 draft. And Cole Hamels is ready, I think, because L.A., when you look at his numbers in the minor leagues, you have to think, wow, <laughs> lights out, eye-popping stats. There's no question about it. You know, you look at the three starts he's had there, and you go, Oh my gosh, this guy is unbelievable. It's a feat on me. There's no question about it. Everyone from Citizens Bank Park, welcome to Phillies Baseball Game, one of a four game series. The Phillies and the New York Mets, who lead the National League East. Phillies still have hopes of the wild card. The Mets pretty much have the Eastern Division wrapped up, but the Phillies have a lot of teams to pass in that wild card chase. Harry Callis, along with Chris Wheeler, Scott Graham, and Larry Anderson will be along a little later. And Phillies last year, the Mets got Carlos Beltran, a high salaried free agent. He was a bit of a disappointment. Hadn't been a disappointment this year. Now, when you look at their team, Harry, you think all these players are having tremendous years. Bad, bad, 
Good evening, everyone, from Citizens Bank Park. Welcome to Phillies baseball. Final game of the series, the Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Hard to believe on September 12th, the New York Mets had a seven-game lead. Now it is only one over the Phillies. Phillies three ahead of Atlanta in the wild card. The Phillies and Colorado tied one game behind San Diego. Pleasant night for baseball. Hopefully the rain will stay away until later. Harry Callis along with Gary Matthews. Chris Wheeler will be along shortly. We have an interesting pitching matchup tonight. Rookie Kyle Kendrick for the Phils, future Hall of Famer John Smoltz for the Atlanta Braves. And Kyle has been the most pleasant surprise for the Phillies this year. He's kept the Phillies in every game. Well, you're absolutely right, Harry. He's one of those players that. The final day of the regular season, and two teams 90 miles apart battle for the division title. One city was built on the foundation of independence. The other is built on the belief of freedom and liberty. Neither want to be left at home in October. The Mets have been anything but amazing in their recent folder. While the Phillies have rode the wave of momentum entering the final stretch. They won't battle each other in game 162, but they will battle for the same reward. time the Cincinnati Reds won the National League Central it was 1995 was well, play begins tonight game one of a four game series the Reds sit atop the Central as they get set to take on the Bills hi everybody I'm Tom McCarthy Loa Chris Wheeler Gary Matthews will be along a little later on well it's back into the Central Division for the Phils and the last road trip of the Phillies didn't go so well against the Central but overall this year the Phillies have played pretty well against the National League Central squads well they got off to a great start against the Houston Astros and you're right Tom they had played well but of baseball will come to a close tonight here in Philadelphia. It's the final regular season home game of the 2012 season here at Citizens Bank Park and it's a salute to the greatest fans in baseball. Hi everybody, I'm Tom McCarthy along with Chris Wheeler. Murph and Sarge will be around in just a little bit. We say goodbye to Philadelphia at least for the regular season for the Phils tonight. They finish up this series against the Washington Nationals. More than 3 million fans have come through the gates this year, and they've seen some pretty cool things. Great season, Tom. No postseason this year, but really some good ball games here. than usual on a Sunday afternoon here in Philadelphia but game four between the Phillies and the Marlins is upon us as the Phillies wrap up this very brief homestand and look to win a series over Miami. Hi everybody I'm Tom McCarthy along with Chris Wheeler wheels did not run in the Broad Street run we want to congratulate though all of the participants who are part of that 
this afternoon and this morning. All right, so today we have another rematch. Last night it was Jose Fernandez against Cole Hamels. Today it's Kevin Slowey against Roy Halladay. That is a good rematch too, Tom. Those guys pitch a very, very good game. It was about a four-hour train ride from New York City down here to Washington, D.C. to start this four-game series between the Phils and the Washington Nationals. The Phils are trying to end a four-game losing streak. Each team comes in with three victories here tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, joined by Matt Stairs. A lot of news around the Phillies today pertaining to their lineup, which we'll talk about. Ryan Howard batting seventh for the first time since 2006. But first... Let's talk about the starting pitchers for tonight's game. It's a rematch of a game we saw on April 11th. Well, yeah, and it's Hamels versus Fister. And if you know if you're not in your seat yet, you better hurry up because these guys work very quick. Some fall ball in South Philadelphia. The fields across from Packer Avenue were packed this Saturday afternoon and inside Citizens Bank Park. Well, a little big league BP as the Marlins and Phillies get set for game two of a three-game series. It's Weekends with Schmidt presented by Acme Markets. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Phillies Baseball alongside Mike Schmidt and Ben Davis. I'm Greg Murphy in for Tom McCarthy tonight. The Phillies are honoring Spanish Heritage Month tonight as they honor the great Roberto Clemente. They get set to take on the Miami Marlins. It's game one of this three-game series, and yeah, the Phillies better get used to a little home cooking because they're home for most of the rest of the regular season. All right, so here's the schedule. We lay it out for you. This homestead includes 10, three against the Marlins, three against the A's, four against the Dodgers, and then the only road trip from here until the remainder of this regular season is the three games against the Atlanta Braves. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, Loa Ben Davis. Well, tonight, Nick Pavetta will get another shot at these Miami Marlins. Now, his last outing on this road trip, Pavetta didn't pitch that well, but the outing before that against the Marlins, he pitched really well. He was really good. And how many times do we say it, Tom? We always talk about fastball command. are getting a chance to take on the Boston Red Sox one more time the best team in baseball the Phillies have played them tough that's right they fight against the Red Sox the only problem is they've lost two of the three all three have been close games and I'm sure tonight will be the same way NBC Sports Philadelphia home of the authentic fan presents the Red Sox and the Philadelphia Phillies the Phillies made another roster move today this was kind of anticipated earlier this week not the Andrew Knapp part he has been optioned to Lehigh Valley but we knew Wilson Ramos would be back at some point he is back tonight for the Phillies and in the starting lineup. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, along with John Kruk. All right, so these games have been really good. The Phillies' offense, though, has really not been there, not only against the Red Sox, but in recent days and games. Wilson Ramos is in the lineup today. If anything, he should help the offense. Yeah, it's got to give it be a jolt to the guys on the offense. Throwing it back again on this Thursday night, a JT Real Muto t-shirt being given out to some of the kids coming to the ballpark tonight. It's a great giveaway. JT having a hot stretch right now, batting third once again. Yeah, the Temple Owls are in the house. It's the final game of this three-game series between the Bills and the Chicago Cubs. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, along with John Kruk. We've kind of thrown it back with the powder blues uh, for ourselves with the maroon P, uh, as we do each and every Thursday. The uniforms look great. And tonight, the Phillies hope that JT Real Muto will continue to be great. Yeah, Tom, it's been so much fun to watch. First night of the series. Oh, the 
Marlins certainly helped out the Phillies yesterday. We were on the bus when the Marlins wound up beating the Brewers. And the celebration was loud and it was boisterous. And the same celebration was in the clubhouse as well. Pretty cool how the Marlins used the PH where they said filled with joy. Well, the Phillies hope they're going to be filled with joy tonight here at Minute Maid Park as they get set to take on the Houston Astros of 104 games on the year. So the standings look like this. The story is one. The Phillies' magic number is one. The Phillies are one game behind the San Diego Padres for the number two spot in the wild card. They could celebrate tonight. Fingers crossed that they will celebrate tonight. Hey everybody, I'm Tom McCarthy along with Ruben Amaro Jr. So you were the general manager the last time the Phillies celebrated in this ballpark, but they did it about three weeks earlier than this with Roy Halladay out on the mound. There's some excitement you can tell from the fan base that's here, from the clubhouse, and even from the guy that's pitching here tonight because there's a certain number that's been following him and a lot of other players. That's a really exciting time for everybody in this organization. Uh, you're yes. stoked, Steve. I, I listen to this guy. How, tell me how you're feeling here. You're screaming. I am stoked, baby. You're screaming like it's still the game going on. We're talking about the fightings here. The fightings. Said. Said.